Okay, Sounds of Decay 3, our final review of 2023. And this one was like number 11 for me, of course, right? Uh, Mallow Carpatin, Bertumnus Caesar. Another quality disc making a top 10 for 2023 even more difficult to compile. It comes from Slovakian black metalers Malo Kapartin, the band's fourth full length since their inception in 2014. Eight epic songs at the perfect running time of 46 minutes. This one shows they've honed their distinctive swirl of black and classic heavy metal and Slovakian folklore into a lethal edge. Plus, they're not afraid to don the occasional cape or puffy shirt for a photo session. It's not all about the details, folks. All lyrics are crafted in their native tongue, delivered by the always guttural bark of prolific multi-instrumentalist H.V., a.k.a. Vladimir Morovic. The sleeve notes reveal a variable arsenal of instruments on the record, from mellotron to tubular bells to a small but potent glockenspiel. Sorry, a little bit of Jethro Tull humor there. Check out their live album for them. Anyway, um, there's also a stylophone and melody hawk. I'm not even sure what that is, but one can only conclude that all these impressive instruments are a key reason as to the track-to-track -track variety that is so remarkable on this record. The fourth track translates into Inside the Soothing Sanctuary of the Kunst Kamru and is a dreamy gallop nugget on a new wave of British heavy metal AOR riff that sounds great against Vladimir's rough vocals. Around the two-minute mark, it begins one of those several tempo changes that include a Mellotron exploration. The band has a flair for synth and organ lines, acting as a bed for dramatic guitar solos, and this track is a splendid example. How can anyone doubt a song that translates into the domain of salamanders and the caverns of the earth? especially considering the gorgeous synth lines that recall Deep Purple circa 1972, and that is never a bad thing. Plus, now do I not need to read National Geographic at all? It's music with a handcrafted artisan flair to it. The final track may be the strongest of all, nearly 10 minutes of epic metal in the vein of prime merciful fate. I used to love going to the Kunst camera room. I got kicked out because I made a joke about their eggplant parmesan. No, and her never get, and she never got over it. Mm. There's a lot to translate with Vertumnus Caesar, both musically and lyrically, but it's an exotic metal gem, well worth the effort. Recommended for connoisseurs that break out the fourth Aria album after a few drinks. Let's play a song, our last song of the year, which is Mahara Agala. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast.